Uh, you know, such a lovely day out there. We can see the view. You know, we don't really say much for a minute, man, but... You know, I, I feel like you really get me, you know? You know, I like the fact you don't talk. <laughs> Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Rebuilding the Commonwealth with myself. I don't know, I just thought that would be funny to uh, say right at the beginning there. <laughs> but uh, hey, I have a, a rather dry sense of humour sometimes. So, we are back here at Karoop Manor. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Every time you do that brings me one step closer to making rebuilding the Commonwealth my full-time job. Which I tell you what it more or less is. If I want to get this done within like 10 years, it's probably going to have to be a full-time job. But uh, hey, <clears throat> that is a conversation for another day. But yeah, I really appreciate your support, everybody. You've got me up to 500 subscribers, and we are going to continue here. So last episode, we set up the military police here in the office. We have uh, seven police officers, three constables, a sergeant, an inspector, and a superintendent back here. I could have swore the um, inspector didn't look like that. But then again, I have had a few Minutemen whose uh, skin has changed. Like they've gone from like this grey-haired dude to like a young black-haired dude. So, I mean, I don't know. But... The uh, office here has some work to do. And we've got a reception to make. Which is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put together a reception. Now, I think the reception desk we're going to need snappy builds and we're going to carpet the area up top no oh, it's frozen there we go that's the one thing now um i've got so many settlers in this building and this area why is our food and water suddenly not good enough we do have supply don't we Yeah, we've got supply to the rest of the Commonwealth. Yeah, not quite sure I understand why the supply is apparently... Oh, now it's good enough. <laughs> anyway, so let's carpet this. But yeah, we're at the point where the number of settlers in the area is so high that the game can't really process assigning villagers and settlers and all that to their jobs i actually have to assign them and then i have to walk about well i have to walk out of render range for the um for the changes to take which is a bit of a pain i will admit but it's nothing that we can't handle now i think we should carpet these hallways here with the same carpet that we use in the office that's it. Uh, I don't think you'd want to sleep in a room with the same carpet. So we're going to... We're going to make this the same as the reception. Just so they have a kind of transition between living and the uh, workspace. Not that there's much living you can do in a room this crowded. But this is the condition the military police live in. So... Go figure, right? Now, out here, we have the wallpapers. Now, this is where I got mixed up a bit last time. I believe it's Deco Main A. No. Deco Main C. No. A and C shared. Yes, here it is. We have these wallpapers that we can put up. Now, considering this is a reception, I quite like this smart walnut wood. The reason I like that is because it will match with the desk that I'm going to put in. The reception desk. Uh, we're going to need a doorway in that same uh, walnut type panelling. 
that's it. Not really sure why these are just cloth, but hey, I'm not going to question it. Definitely not going to question it. So how are you guys doing? I'm still toying up the idea of writing the stories of these Quincy remnants because uh, my literary talents and fingers are starting to get restless. I haven't actually written a decent piece of write a decent piece of narrative. Ugh, don't know why I'm yawning. I'm not even that tired today. I was yesterday, but um, we are in a heat wave in the UK, and sleeping wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do. <laughs> And I haven't written a decent piece of narrative in quite some time, so I would be very happy to uh, to write some pieces. That's why I'm like, hey, I'm popular enough to have a Patreon. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a very long way off a Patreon. But um, I, I do this because I enjoy doing certain builds, and I'm probably going to extend my talents to other building games uh, very soon. Because as much as I do love it, uh, I would like to diversify the portfolio a little bit, as it were. Uh, this particular counter will give several people a job, I think. Because we'll have a day and night clerk. Uh, that's not quite enough. Yeah, we go. Yes, yeah, so the police desk is there. And we will have a simple waiting room here. I think I haven't used these institute couches. But I think these look pretty good for a little waiting room. Fantastic. And little surfaces. I've already got a few of those. This little metal nightstand, I think, blends well with the Institute-style furniture that I've just put in. I mean, it wouldn't be uh, out of the question to say the Minutemen are now big enough that we probably would have looted an Institute piece of furniture from somewhere, so I have no guilt whatsoever in doing that. Now, I'm not going to use the Homemaker lights because they're actually quite substandard. But I will put down another lamp here. Yeah, the one without the shade, I think, gives a little bit more. Let's uh, pop one of these up here. And I'm going to put another one up here because it is a little bit dark. Um, I think we're going to need a couple more of those fancy wall lights. These ones. So I'm going to put a couple here. Doesn't really add much to it, but it's something, right? Besides, we will be putting more lights down here, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that for now. So we have a little reception, so if you come up here to see the police officers, you'll have to come up and check in with the reception here before you go through. Uh, I'm going to replace this with a slightly more fitting doorway. Now, I think a security gate would would do quite good here. Structures, doors. No, not a cell. Though I do plan on building a police station, like don't get me wrong. Uh, I will I will build a police station. Yeah, I don't want the mesh, I want the security gates. There we are. No, uh, other way around. That's it. All right, it's so open in and left. I mean, come on, you don't really want to, people to just be able to walk straight in. 
So if the office is being left unattended, the uh, inspector can lock the gate behind him. And that will keep this place secure. Now, under decorations and cruffy DD, we do have... I don't think it's propaganda. It is directions, I think. Health, safety, and law. Uh... Labels and directions. It's got to be under here in that case. Uh, I mean, restricted area is probably the main thing that's... Uh, yeah, I say restricted area. A bit like we did at the castle. So, you know, you are not allowed past here without authorization. That would make perfect sense. Now I have to go all the way to the end again. Uh, restricted area like that. Nice. Now behind the desk I want... I would put stores but those uh, store mats are really irritating i won't lie so we're just gonna go with resources because we could use extra resources so during the day the person will probably be standing there with a newspaper i forget which way round is correct i think it's the inverse side towards the uh the place and at night uh, what they be doing at night well no one's really gonna come up here at night so I think the person having the newspaper and leaning. Now, I think if this is a newspaper lean, it needs to be quite a bit into the item they're going to be leaning against. So let's go and get a couple of guinea pigs and then I might have to pause while the uh, thing takes effect. Uh, I think I'm going to sleep till morning. Or sit and wait until morning. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. There we go. That's one thing I don't miss is how long it takes after your settlement has a bit of traction. What are you doing? Oh, you're one of the uh, remnants. Of course you are. Okay, so who is being useless in general? Uh, pretty much most of you. <laughs> most of you are being useless. Good to know. Uh, let's take you because you're literally doing nothing and make you do nothing in a more productive place. There we go. Now you're going to notice that does not say resource assigned in the top left and it won't do that because of the issue I've just uh, described. The um, the command has taken effect. Don't get me wrong. Oh, 
Damn, it has registered. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'll take that back. Maybe it does work. I had some trouble assigning Minutemen yesterday, though. The defense was just not playing ball with me. So that's, uh, that's always fun. Fantastic. What are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. Great. So they're both assigned. Let's uh, wait for an hour and see whether they come up. There we go. Do you know what? I think that was pretty close to perfect. I think almost a bit too perfect. So it needs to be... shunted off like that. Great. Now decorations. Now since this is the military police office, we would definitely have proper Minuteman flag hung up here. I mean, come on, we are patriotic. We do have to look after our Lord and Saviour, the Minutemen. That's it. We'll pop it right there in the middle of that walnut panel. Beautiful. Now, decorations. Is it under miscellaneous? Do we get a radio? The radio. Because we want one tuned to Radio Freedom, of course. Yes, I know that's a lower quality one, but we can live with it. I'm not putting a jukebox up here. I mean, the guys in the office need to concentrate, right? Oh, a brand new trash can. That would definitely be beneficial just before you go into the uh, office's room. Minute Man flagpole. This, yeah, yeah, this is the one that's not moving. Of course, we don't have the Institute one yet. That's probably the only one we're never going to get because, you know, we don't we don't like the Institute. We don't like the Institute whatsoever. Oh, hello. I will have some interesting stuff to look at. Man, this place is so cramped. I don't think I can place anything straight on this. Which isn't a problem. Uh, we can we can still deal with that. But we need furniture. And I'm thinking the do-it-yourself will make a great addition. A bit like what we have on the ground floor. Uh, Pre-war metal. I don't think they look particularly smart for a reception. I think we'll stick with the the wood. And we'll have them underneath the window, not uh, not high up. And of course it's going to be off-centered. There we go, that's more or less centred there. It's as good as I'm really going to get it anyway. And there will be some decorations. we we'll definitely decorate this place. Just a whole bunch of paraphernalia up top. We'll put the library and storage underneath.
Yeah, so we're going to go f entire rows of books, like perfect rows of books here. A couple of differences in that there's a couple of files here, so maybe uh, maybe the reception is holding on to a file or two. Files that are closed or, you know, they're a matter of public record because they wouldn't want to tip anyone off to their investigations now, would they? Not at all. Now, how else can we spruce up this place? I'm sure we'll figure something out. Uh, the door onto the balcony here needs to be blocked off. Or at least be closed. I knew that would open inwards. That's it, open outwards. Yeah, make sure these open outwards onto the balcony. But this one will remain locked because it's the quarters for the policeman. So that needs to be closed and private. Again, decorations. I would say put a small painting up here, but I don't really think there's anything small enough. And all the stuff I have here is uh, post-war, I think. Oh yeah, we have lots of these uh, quite nice banners and bunting and that kind of stuff. Pixel art. That rings a bell. I really should take advantage of these. Flag swag. <laughs> yeah, of course. That would be good. Uh, I think maybe a rug back here, or maybe I can put a TV in this corner. But you know what? It's night time. No one's really up here, so she can just be relaxing on the side here. Anyone comes up, she can go around the back of the counter, let them into their appointment with the sergeant if they're in late. It happens. You know, some people do turn up late. Okay. Now, we do need another Minuteman flag in here because you are literally in the office of the Minutemen. So I bet whoever built Croot Manor didn't expect there to be a full-blown Minuteman battalion using the place as a police station. Or rather, a police outpost. This is definitely an outpost as opposed to a station. So don't get me wrong there. Okay, now OC Decorator. I did go out and get some more office goodies. Let's see what I got here. So we've got a desk fan. Uh, you will definitely need a desk fan up here. Yep, yeah, that one is turned on. The other one is not. Uh, the... Superintendent would have one, without a doubt. Yes, I did get an antique globe, which would make a good addition to the superintendent's office. Naturally, the subway tokens. I say these make a suspicious appearance in all of my settlements. Because they've become somewhat of a currency in the Minuteman lore. Or at least my Minuteman law. Oh, excuse me. So I'll place a few of these around. Pens. Naturally. Uh, he's typing, so he wouldn't need one. At least not in plain sight. And we did manage to pick up quite a few pencils. So we're going to place a few of these on the desks. Oh, he was pushing me there. That's good. Couple of pencils here and here. Just in case he's doing some proofreading or editing there. Uh, scissors. 
Yes, I know they're, they're pronounced scissors, but I say skizzers because if you ever want to annoy people, just pronounce something wrong. Like, I'm British. Everybody knows in Britain that it's pronounced Plymouth or Portsmouth. Everybody knows that. That's why I deliberately say Portsmouth or Plymouth. My God, does it annoy people? <laughs> and my God, do I love it. <laughs> So, cigarette. Yeah, so we do. We will have a few smokers in this office. You know that's not uh, that's not uncommon. A uh, packet of smokes is not out of the question. Up by their phones. Keep their desk space clean. Now, one of the big things I wanted were these overdue books. Now the sergeant... I think the sergeant was here, wasn't she? Let me... Um, uh, let me sleep tonight so we get the night shift on. There we go. That was my phone, by the way, not yours. Yeah, the sergeant does actually sit here. That's fine. Now, the sergeant is likely to have the most work out of all of them. So, we're going to put a number of books on her desk. Uh, the... Inspector will have one as well. Constables will have a couple. Not him, he's typing, maybe he's scribing. I will put these burnt books around as well. Maybe they're more aged books. Uh, they don't have to be burnt if we don't want to. We just have to, I don't know, maybe they're recovering the text from them or something like that. So we're going to scatter these burnt textbooks around. There is a reason I picked them up after all. Yeah, he's just realised he's supposed to be clocking off down the there. Uh, what, what's that line? Oh, it's a shocker. Just looked at my watch and realised I should be down the pub. <laughs> and he's just literally realised that. Um, a late edition newspaper. Yeah. Likely there'd be a copy of that. If they're on a break or uh, you know not, not doing anything, rolled up Boston bugle. Hello. Oh, doesn't that look cool? Just cops with their guns like that. Oh, I was about to get an epic screenshot of that. Ah, oh, that was a wasted opportunity. That was. I'm sure another one will turn up. I like how the sergeant didn't even flinch. Like, oh, who gives a shit? Got guards downstairs for a reason, right? That could have been an epic thumbnail opportunity, though. Those two cops like that. Right, um, back to what we were doing. Uh, books. I mean, these guys might read the odd comic or two. Come on. They've got to do something fun at their desks. They can't just be doing flat out work all day. We are human after all. So I'll place a couple of these guns and relics on the top. Guns and bullets. I think I read uh, replica as relics there. How stupid can I get? Anything else in here that I can look at? No, I think they're all just uh, standard stuff there. No, entertainment. I mean, she might have got a bobblehead. <laughs> might have just found one on her travels while she was at uh, another settlement. 
and he's a precariously balanced a perception bubble head on the back. <laughs> a dirty teddy bear. I mean that that can be the uh, the station's mascot. <laughs> I mean why not, right? Excellent. Now these are these are police officers. Uh, they will have ammunition, so not again. Uh, well, again, not unrealistic to have their ammunition sitting around. I was going to say, do we actually have little crates that we can use? Military ammo bags. Yeah, I mean, an ammo bag wouldn't be out of place. A single 45 round. A couple of these would look fine, placed on the sergeant's desk. Maybe they throw them at each other during the day <laughs> for a laugh. Uh, since the sergeant and the inspector both have shotguns, having these shotgun shells is not a bad shout. Lovely. Technology. Is there anything in here that would fit within the remit of a police station? I mean, in theory, these guys would really need an evidence room, but... I, I take it these guys would have their own storage somewhere else. I mean, maybe I can build a evidence room when we put in the rich district. Or when we build the actual police station elsewhere. We can do that. I want to put a stealth boy down here for the sergeant. But uh, I'm going to have to mess about with it manually. You know, the story of my life. Great. And uh, you know, maybe they shot up a couple of synth components. Maybe they had to shoot a couple of actual Minutemen and found they had synth components. Maybe she's writing a report on that. So that would also make some canonical sense. Uh, some stationery. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, by the way, I'm actually doing an in-real-life project, right? It's a bit of an art project. I'm not an artist by any means. In fact, I'm probably one of the worst artists ever. One second. Oh, excuse me, guys. That was uh, a big, big, big sneeze. Literally just came out of nowhere. I'm quite lucky I managed to catch that in time. <laughs> um, Pre-war money. That's not a bad idea. The uh, captain in here will probably have kept some. Maybe salvaged it. I mean, eventually the Minutemen will make pre-war money actually worth it again. And maybe phase out the bottle cap in um, the Commonwealth if they became big enough and, you know, secure enough to do that. So as much as they can save now will mean that they can eventually rebuild these banking institutions that existed pre-war. I forgot to give the uh, superintendent a telephone. That's uh, very bad of me. Uh, he's going to have a nice prestigious typewriter here for when he's... Um, when he needs to use that to do his bits and pieces. The books that he has over here. We'll of course need a magnifying glass just in case. And how can we forget handcuffs? These guys would have handcuffs if they need to make arrests. So we'll put handcuffs down on each of their desks. I mean this guy's desk is probably the cleanest of the lot. This guy will have two pairs on his desk, because why not? 
maybe he's writing an account of some seized money from uh, maybe a Minuteman who's got some unexplained bits of pre-war money on him. Uh, a couple more subway tokens. Magnifying glasses. Yeah. And of course these folders. Now these folders are some of my favourite pieces of office kit. These when placed just look like the uh, the officer here has a case file or case load that they're working with. And it also gives the uh, impression that there's a lot, a lot more work to do in these cabinets. If I place some of these around. Maybe a couple have fallen off the... Uh, fallen off the top here. I mean, they can't always be organised, can they? The inspector will have a few things to do. Constable over here is probably quite a busy man. And he has quite a few. This guy is probably typing up the file notes from that. And naturally, the superintendent will also have a few. There may be the more senior the more classified files that he's working with on his desk which again would make perfect sense uh, in this corner maybe uh, the superintendent has a few spare typewriters or maybe a few typewriters that are screwed <laughs> a bit of the old tech which doesn't work so again it can't be completely tidy Uh, another desk fan on top of here. Nice. Um, also, CVC here has some um, decorations for particular rooms. And I believe one of them is an office. There you go. No, don't need an office chair. Nor do we need this, these cabinets. Then again, these could be screwed up and broken cabinets, which um, you know, maybe they've put to one side a bit of a uh, rubbish disposal. <laughs> now those are way too big for that. But I will place a couple of these. Uh, what I'll do is put one here. Then place one on top. That's it. Uh, I think, yeah, that's it. And then I can lean this one against the wall, so. Yes, I want to make sure it lays down like that. Yeah, so it's just been, it's just been thrown here. You know, just to get rid of it, get it out of sight, out of mind. Just a bit of crap that uh, they didn't really want to clean up when they moved in. Maybe the stuff was here before they were. So they've just, you know, they've built the office. They've just chucked it to one side. They don't want to move it yet, but hey ho. Is what it is, right? Now, likely one of these lockers will have something useful. Medical supplies. That is... Oh, yes. Ammunition. I forgot about this one. So let's put the ammo cabinet here. Again, that's my phone, by the way, not yours. And who can go without the drinks cabinet? <laughs> yes. They will always have a drinks cabinet in here. Living room. What on earth is going on with my phone? Every single person is trying to contact me right now. There we go. I'll just mute that. How is this living room decor? Oh yes, little coffee table back here. 
You want a cup of coffee, which you probably will if you're uh, you're an officer in this uh, this little room. Do we have any mounted creatures that we can put up? <laughs> Rad stag heads. You know what? Yeah. Let's hang this up. Lovely. I think that's got just about the right amount of colour in here, which is nice. But uh, I do want some blinds in this room for the uh, for the officer back here. So that will come under decorations, interior, and then we have those beautiful uh, Venetian blinds. Actually, will these curtains suffice? You know what? I think they will. Yeah, so I just need to increase the scale of them by just a touch. So we go up to 120 and we just cover to cover it like that. I'm going to pull them a bit towards me. I know that gets in the way of the shotgun shells, but that's not too much of a problem. Just to give the officer up here a little bit of uh, privacy if he's working at night. Excellent. Uh, I won't put curtains out here. I will actually put Venetian blinds. So let's put those up. Uh, no, we don't need a tool rack. This is it. Venetian blinds. Am I able to get hold of that? Okay, I got that back to the right place. That's cool. Yeah, so I want that in a place where I can select it. Uh, we will yeah, bring this one up just a tad. So I want the two ones on the end with the blinds drawn pretty much right down. And I want the curtains in the middle to be up. Oh, for goodness sake, I've just screwed that up. I didn't set it back to uh, Z axis. There we go. Now it's Z axis. And we can put this in. Turn off surface snapping so that it fits a bit smoother. Like that. Make it bigger. Oh, oopsie daisy. That's it. My question is, if I make it drawn up like that, does that show up on the outside? It probably does. I'm going to call it now. It probably does. If it does, I'm not actually too fast. Yeah, even if it does, there is no way I'm going to see that from down here. So, you know what? I am going to roll with it. If at a later stage I find out it's really obstructive... <laughs> then we'll think again. Of course it's raining again. It's always raining here at uh, Croup Manor. Acoustic panels. Oh yes, a bell. I mean, I don't anticipate anyone not being at the desk. But it certainly helps. Come on. Oh, bloody hell, come on, where are these fucking blinds? There we go. That's where my blinds are. 
turn off the surface snapping. Yeah, so we'll have those two up and this one down. So again, make it larger. That's fine. We have this one down. So you can still look out the window from up here. Nice one. I'm tempted to leave these ones open because why wouldn't you? I mean, you can't see anything here, so there's no point putting blinds on that. So not an issue there. Wow, that is a pristine grill, that is. House plants. We don't need any house plants. A water cooler. Why didn't I think of that before? A uh, water cooler is a lovely little addition to an office. Uh, trash cans, you would have a few of these. Can I push this though? Yes, this is a, a mobile one. It's fine though, we just have to put it in a place where people aren't going to bump it constantly. And I think over here is perfect. Nice one. I have a feeling this is going to spawn me items and it's going to be quite funny. <laughs> hey. Right. I want to trade a few things. Okay. So yeah, you are a night shifter, so let me give you a night shift. And you Can we trade a few things? Sure thing. You're a day shift. That's it. Now let's go back to OC Decorator. Now kitchen and dining beverages. I do have some empty bottles. And some alcohol stuff. There you go. So we've got new cola bottles. Uh, we'd have some of these littering around the settlement and the indeed the police office. Move out of the way, please. Maybe the uh, sergeant is a little bit annoyed with how many keep getting left around the office. He's like, hey, you're all grown-ass men and women. Put your stuff in the bin. Without really admitting to the fact that he's just as guilty. He leaves uh, new Coca-Cola bottles just about all over the place. Let's uh, place some of these around the settlement as well. Because the people who don't drink alcohol will most likely be drinking new Coca-Cola. Hey, there'll even probably be some out here on the balcony edge. Uh, there'll definitely be some uh, sitting around here. And out on the patio, Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola everywhere. Nice one. Now, do we actually have any full bottles? Uh, we should do, because I just raided the Shore High School. And that had a few Come on, where is it? That had a few bottles in it. Oh, these are ice cold ones, that would explain it. Do we have any full ones back here? I'm gonna have to go right to the end, then I to get these. There we go. Nuka cherries, Nuka colas. A full bottle on the sergeant's desk. A full bottle on the superintendent's desk. Uh, 
uh, up on top of the file cabinet. Maybe someone's left one out. Nuka Cola Quantum. This guy is uh, rolling in dough, obviously, so he's bought himself a nice ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum. That's uh, pretty nice for him. Crystal decanters. <laughs> You know, these guys will have collected some stuff. They're all over the place. They go to settlements all the time. Right. They're going to have a weird collection of stuff. <laughs> Not to mention confiscated things from settlements that they've uh, policed and dealt with. A couple of these uh, federal rations. And that's it. This place is really taking shape now. I will do the uh, superintendent's office probably in the next episode. But uh, this place is starting to look a bit more lived in now. It's starting to look like there's actually operations going here and not just people sat on their ass doing nothing. Uh, food wise. Feel like they would have at least a little bit of food near their desks, like grab food. No, not just corn and fruits. This might be difficult because I think I put everything in the uh, I put everything in the A chest: potato crisps or potato chips. Basically, that's just a massive can of Pringles. Let's <laughs> let's face it; they just can't do it for the copyright, right? That's essentially what that is—just a giant can of Pringles. Uh, we already have coffee pots down there. We'll put a hot plate for their their coffee. Uh, a toaster definitely wouldn't go amiss. A jug, yeah, just in case they've got any other drinks up here. A vault tech lunchbox. Yeah, I mean, why not? I say these guys collect all kinds of quirky stuff up here. They're cops, after all. And how can we forget some of these people would have coffee mugs? Because who can function without a cup of coffee in the morning? I certainly can't. I have to have at least four before my body is ready. So pretty much all of them drink at least a little bit of coffee in the mornings before they're, they're ready. Nice one. So, yeah, we'll do this part of the uh, building next episode. But I'm really liking how this is turning out. Now, I think this is this is actually a really nice uh, reception area to come up to. I am going to take a screenshot of this if I can, so that I can actually go up into the attic. Oh, why can't I just use a free cam to see whether this ruins the look? And it doesn't. It really doesn't. Which is great. Now, if I set the camera up just over here. There you go. Now, if I go TM. There you go. Creation of a reception area. Easy as that. And that is why I love having the console available. <laughs> I know there are mods to do the survival mode console, but pfft, who cares? Right, I think that is good for this episode. We have a reception area. The police office is now, I would say, completed. If I see things here and there that I can use, excellent. I'll do that. Ooh, looks like we've got some visitors. We've got some traveling Minutemen. But yeah, nice. 
So, again guys, we have police officers, we have artillery soldiers, we have infantry soldiers. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten your suggestions. Um, remember, if you want to suggest a name for one of the uh, Quincy remnants, uh, needs to have a nice bit of backstory as the uh, as the one that we've named, which was Phoenix Donahue. So, yeah. Make sure you come up with a good backstory if you want to name a Quincy Remnant. Um, if you want to name any of the other ones, of course you can just give me a name. That's lovely. If you guys actually want me to like hand write some lore about the Quincy Remnants, I'm happy to do that as well. Like I say, I'm a writer by trade. Like, I used to freelance as a writer a lot for creative stuff. So if you guys want some of that, I'm all for it. Again, look out for the Project Zomboid series coming out soon because uh, I've been doing a hell of a lot of recording for that. Uh, I just have to nail the voice recordings and as you know, my voice is not very... Uh, what's the word? It's not very audiogenic is what I call. You know, you get those people whose voices on the radio are beautiful and they can say pretty much anything. Like Morgan Freeman, he can read a phone book and, and entertain you. My voice is not like that. Mine needs quite a specific style to flourish. Technical things like these, these kind of series is probably where mine is best at, but we'll, we'll find out. But yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you've got all the way to the bitter end of the video, just know that I absolutely love you. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like and a comment and all that in the... Uh, in the bottom here if you subscribe then you know you're just making this one step closer to my full-time job which um which would be a dream country many years in the future <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be uploading a few other games uh soon once i actually get up my ass and play some of them but until then guys thank you very much for tuning in i really appreciate all of your support and i will see you again in the next one Take care, peace out, and see you guys later.